Billy Batson, aka Shazam, is soon going to be making his way onto the big screen as portrayed by Zachary Levi. However, many moviegoers are likely to not really know much about this mystical powered superhero or his abilities. If you're one of these people, never fear as Screen Rant is here to make sure that you are in the know. So let's jump right into it. But first, if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Click the bell to be notified when we upload fresh content. Hey, Captain, where's the fire? Please, let go! You don't understand! Power Source Billy Batson was just a simple young boy until he found his way into a mysterious ancient temple. He was then granted his abilities by the ancient wizard Shazam, and Billy Batson was told by the old man that he had been chosen to be the next champion of mankind. By simply speaking the wizard's name, which is actually an acronym of six legendary figures that each grant him a different ability, more on that later, he is then struck by lightning and transformed into the superpowered entity Captain Marvel, or as he's known in modern times, Shazam. This also changes Batson from a young boy into a muscle-bound, fully grown adult, which is pretty odd, but also kind of sweet in its own way. Shazam! Wait, for real? Say okay! Strengths and Abilities Remember how I said that each of the letters of Shazam stood for a legendary figure? Well, it is from these figures that Batson pulls his strengths and abilities. S stands for Solomon, from which he gets the power of wisdom. This grants him abilities such as clairvoyance, superhuman intellect, and the ability to speak and understand basically every language known to man, both living and dead. H stands for Hercules, which obviously grants him immense strength. When powered up, Batson is actually so strong that he has stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman on numerous occasions. The first A is for Atlas, which brings with it Atlas's stamina. This grants Batson nearly infinite endurance, as well as making it so that Batson does not need to eat, sleep, or even really breathe while powered up. Z is for Zeus, granting Batson magical powers, such as the ability to hurl lightning bolts at opponents. It also gives him accelerated healing, which makes him kind of tough to take down. The second A stands for the Courage of Achilles, which I guess it's pretty easy to be courageous when you're granted nigh on invincibility by the power of this mythical hero, making Batson immune to all types of physical damage, yet again putting him on par with soups. And finally, M is for Mercury, which brings with it the speed of the Roman god, granting Batson superhuman speed and, of course, flight. So in a lot of ways, you could argue that he's Superman, only he can throw lightning bolts and speak every language ever created, which kind of makes him a little overpowered, if not for... Shazam! Weaknesses while Shazam does indeed have some pretty potent strengths and abilities, all good heroes have some way to take them down. Shazam, despite being a being who is infused with magical abilities, is actually weak to magic, at least he's weak to strong magic, such as that wielded by characters such as the Spectre. It's also worth noting that since Billy Batson is required to actually say a specific phrase to power up, all an enemy really has to do is stop him from doing so. So, you know, shutting him up. Duct tape, a hand, even a sock covering his mouth would be enough to stifle his powers. Of course, if he does manage to say the phrase and power up, all a bad guy would then have to do is hit him with a powerful enough burst of electricity, which would cause him to depower, transforming back into a kid. So basically, if you want to take out Shazam, either get him when he's a kid or become a powerful wizard. The choice is really up to you. It changes you, does it not? The power. It only changes that I can choose my own fate now. And now that you have a bit more of a grasp on what Shazam can do, are you excited to see the character make his way to the big screen? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. While you're down there, be sure to like this video and subscribe to Screen Ramp for more fantastic content. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you at the movies.